Today we're going to be taking a look at probably my most anticipated figure for 2015 in the Masters of the Universe Classics line, Ninja. So unfortunately we can't call him Ninja, we have to call him Ninja Warrior. Well stuff that, he's Ninja. One of my favourite figures from the original line finally getting an update in the Masters of the Universe Classics. So I was really, really hoping they were going to get this guy right. And he's phenomenal. They've made a few changes from the original figure, but not one of them I disapprove of. This is a demonic ninja from hell. Back in the 80s it always bothered me about his feet, but over the years I've come to accept it, and it actually really works well with this figure. And they've also added this brown sash to him, which again I thought would bother me, but it's so dark you can barely tell it's brown. Another cool addition to this figure is this hole in his back, which means we can now add this quiver. Which makes a lot more sense, considering he carries a bow. Unfortunately though, the bow feels a little bit underwhelming. It's too small, and compared to his other weapons, it kinda lacks paint detail. But I do appreciate the fact you can store it on his back, and that looks pretty cool. I thought I was gonna be disappointed about the nunchucks. The original one had a proper chain in the middle. This one is just moulded plastic. You can kinda get away with it by sticking it under his arm. But it can look kinda silly if you don't pose it in the right way. But by far his best weapon is his katana blade. Again, it feels a little bit small, but they've actually gone to the bother of painting this one. Unlike some of the recent accessories we've been getting. But any self-respecting ninja needs a sword like this. And again, you can start it nicely on the quiver. So three weapons and a quiver, I'd be more than happy with this figure. But it just keeps on coming. You may remember on the vintage figure, he had a removable hood. So of course we get an alternate head sculpt. And this one's brilliant. We get this wild, crazy looking ponytail, which really does add to the silhouette of this figure. Honestly, I couldn't have asked for a better version of Ninja. He is phenomenal! And he even comes with another accessory. But not for him. We also get this elaborate belt piece for Jitsu, which is supposed to give him a more 2000X feel. Personally, I prefer Jitsu without, but it's nice that we get even more extras with Ninja. Back in the 80s, Jitsu was one of my favourite Masters of the Universe figures. And then along came Ninja and blew him out the water. And it's happened all over again. Jitsu, one of my favourite classics figures, and Ninja kicked his ass. This has been Luke. Thank you for watching.